Hello, hello. I see Miss Covey. Is anybody else with me? Maybe not. We may be on here all by our lonesome and let everybody else do the replay. So let me move this away. <clears throat> Get ready for some fun. I have really enjoyed this card. So, I am Carolyn Bosley. You are watching through the Inky Gatherings Facebook group. And this is Tuesday night, What's on My Desk, replay on Wednesday night. Because Tuesday night, um, we had some technical difficulties and the recording cut off. So, we're going to start again. But this is what I got finished I just wanted to show you, is that not gorgeous? Just gorgeous. This is using the pale papaya. And the stamp set that I'm using is the Artistically Inked. Could not remember the name of that earlier. And we're using two stamps only. We're using the Thanks and this a border blob for a better way of saying what it is. And then we're also using the one die from the die set that bundles with that, which is just called Artistic Dies. Okay, so I'm just moving these out of our way. I'm going to pull this over here and get this ready to go. And I think what I will do since... We are doing the die. I'm going to pull, the, I had a couple done from last night, but I'm going to go ahead and show again how I do these. I'm just making sure there's no, nothing stuck in there. Um, so I'm going to use the mini boss, but what I'm going to pull out, if you hear me back there in the background, I'm pulling out a simple dryer sheet. Now this is a new dryer sheet, okay? But I don't pay for the high dollar dryer sheets. You just get them at the um, dollar store uh, for better. Um, so I am just getting on here to see. I was going to share. But we're already in the group, so I'm good. Okay, it's just dryer sheet. And what I do to get it started is just rub this really good. And the reason I do it on this particular die is simply because it has all of the holes making up the leaves or the veins, however you want to say it. Um, so that's a lot of little stuff. And this will just help. It's not any guarantee um, that you won't have to poke out some of the little pieces. But it does make a difference, I think. Hey, Cindy. Yes, you missed the post. Sorry. But you're good. I was um, I decided I would come back on tonight at 830 and show what we did yesterday and just do a review of it, what we're doing. So, this is the card done in pale papaya. And this is a gorgeous card in person. I know it's hard to tell that, but it is absolutely gorgeous. And we're going to do it all. So, let me... Um, I'm getting my die cut ready, and I just used a dryer sheet. We're going to go to the Fresh Freesia color. Freesia color. Um, you need a half sheet, eight and a half by five and a half, scored at four and a quarter of your base color. And whatever your base color is, that's the color ink that I use. So you can see how well that coordinated. Then you also need a piece of white. There's two pieces on here. Let me hold this up and see if you can see those two pieces. I'm going to try to pull a little bit apart there. So oh, I'm moving up so you can see. There are two pieces, okay? The largest piece is three and seven eighths by five and one eighth. Then the top piece that you will stamp on here and also have for the inside 
is, so you'll need two of these, three and three quarter by five. So three and three quarter by five, three and three quarter by five, the lower or the, 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 the first layer, the biggest layer, three and seven eighths by five and one eighth. Those are in white, okay? And then you need, <clears throat> if you're gonna use this specific die, if you have this set, you're gonna need like two and three quarter piece of white. Um, what is that by, oh my goodness. Don't have my grid paper out here to tell how long it is. Um, by five and a half. You could probably get by with five and a quarter. Um, this is just the way it cut for me, so it works good. Now, what I did was take my dryer sheet, and yes, this is a good, good new dryer sheet, okay? It's not a used one, it's a new one. And you know, they have some of that little, like, sticky on them. And all I did was turned it over to the sharp side, or I shouldn't say sharp side, but the side that's gonna actually cut. And I just rubbed all over the die, okay? Now, leave some little grit, and this is just like when you're embossing or using glitter. Get out your little Swifter. Get your little Swifter, and you will be good to go. So then I'm gonna bring up the little boss, okay? Bring up the little boss. And <clears throat> we're just gonna need the base plate, which is plate number one, and it is numbered, okay? You need plate number one. Then you're gonna need your two number twos, and that's just your two clear plates, okay? And what I'm gonna do, put my one in there, Get my piece of cardstock and lay that down on there. And then I'm going to put my other number two. And then I'm going to start to rolling, 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 rolling. Keep them doggies rolling real high. Hit them up, hit them up, move them out, move them out, roll high. <laughs> Okay, where is my Grammy? Okay, where is my Grammy? Okay, so, move these away. And what you have is your die. And yes, you're gonna say, but that didn't take a lot out of there. No, we didn't just to see it. But then I'm gonna bring in my brush and you can use your pick tool. Pick, and this is just my foam piece. And I just, you can see, look at all that coming out there. And then I just try to even leave it in the, the frame of the die while I do this. And move this out of the way. Sorry. Give myself a little room to play. And you'll see you've got little little specks, but all you gotta do is swipe them off and put them in, put them in the trash. And when I take it out, <clears throat> you're gonna still see there's a couple, few, few as three or more. Dalton would always argue with me. Um, so there's very few that still need to come out and they come out very quickly and if you want this whole thing to stick down you can also use an adhesive sheet I don't want the whole thing to stick down so I didn't want to have the adhesive sheet on there as a whole because it's going to be white on white and I want a little bit of texture with part of the leaves sticking up Okay, there we have her. Get this out of the way. So, we have that done. So let's just go <clears throat> to a fresh free shot. I think it's a pretty color, don't you? Especially for spring. 
Now, I've already cut some of the, <clears throat> the pieces. And again, I'm going to have a 3 and 7 eighths by 5 and an eighth. And I am going to also have, let me get a smaller one here, a 3 and 3 quarter by 5. You just get really... Maybe once it's done, you get like a 16th or a 32nd of an, and you don't get much. Then I'm also going to have the small one for the inside. Okay? Have a small one for the inside. <clears throat> Excuse me. Let me move this just a bit. And, oh, I think that gets thrown away. And let's find a piece of scrap here for a moment anyway now what I do if I'm using a new piece of scrap a lot of times I will fold it in half it just seems like I can do more with it okay this okay let me show you this is the larger piece Less is more, less is more. But I'm going to go ahead and put the larger piece on. And it is just, I hope that's the larger piece. Um, centered the best I can. Yeah, I had to fix a little taco salad for dinner. Thank you very much for your support. So, I just have the, the first piece glued on. And then, yes, this is the next one. So, let's move that out of the way. That is what I did with this one. But, let's find the fresh freesia. Open that up. Now, I know that I used the pale papaya last night when the camera or video quit working. So I am pulling out my cleaner and I'm gonna clean the two stamps that we're using just so we're good to go here. And I mean, you can change this to birthday, you can change it to hello, you know, best wishes is on there. There's a lot of different things that you can do, okay? But now look how simple this is going to be. I'm moving that out. I'm inking up. Just make sure I'm getting everything inked. And stamping one top. <gasps> look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? That's why they call it distinctive. Because you stamp. And there we go. Okay. Look at that. Look, look, it's just gorgeous. It's just gorgeous. So that's the one. Then we're going to go to the inside layer. <clears throat> I'm going to ink up again. I'm going to do the same thing, only this time I'm just going across the bottom. So, inside is done. I'm leaving that for my note of thanks. Or I may come back and put a verse on there. I'm not for sure. But for right now, it's just my note of thanks. So, I'm just gliding it on. This, ladies and gents, is what I mean by color coordination. It is absolutely gorgeous. The colors match up so well together. So then, <coughs> excuse me, you can do the same thing. Ink up my thanks stamp. And I am going to... Place it there. Now, let's move this. Let's move this. So you can see what I be doing. 
Now the next thing, I'm gonna pull that gorgeous leaf that we did from the die cut, okay? I'm gonna turn it over. This is how it's gonna go, okay? It's gonna go right up here to the edge. Okay, Look, get that out of the way. So, but I'm turning it over to the back side. I'm gonna find me a little sponge here somewhere. Now, I'm not gonna worry about a lot of glue on the leaves all over, okay? I'm just basically gonna try to go up the stem, okay? Gonna try to go up the stem. So I'm just inking this, or inking this, I'm just putting some glue on here. Keeping it in place so that when you tap down, your glue will dry later and you'll be able to um, maneuver it off. So then I'm picking it up. I'm moving my silicone pad. And then I'm going to And that's done, you think. Okay, so while we're doing that, here is where I am going to, uh, on the other one, I popped up both layers, okay? This one, I am popping up just the top layer to show how, I mean, there's so many different ways that it can be done, and it's maker's choice. So, let's get this on here. Oh, took that one plum off. Didn't even have the sticky off the other side. Apparently, it was on the edge where I didn't get it off properly. Okay. Don't forget the tip that if you're not using the, the, the tool, hey, Miss Sandy. Um, you can also, if you keep a wet wipe or some spray sanitizer, something just a little moist, um, and have your fingertips moist, you can pick up those little flyaway, um, white pieces that come off of that. So then we are just going to pop this up. Okay. There you go. And then... Yes, they will flatten when you put them back into the envelope, okay? But it'll still give a little bit of oomph when the people pull them out, um, pull, pull them out of the envelope, pull the, the total card out. And, you know, how much patience you have and how much you want to glue on the um, leaf is how much will not be done. Now, you could leave it just like that, and I think it would be gorgeous. I am going to see what I can find. Let's see what I can find. Um, there's all kinds of gems and things that we can use. I'm watching, I'm looking over here in my pile that I've gone through, getting ready for the new catalog. Are you guys excited? You should be because it is absolutely gorgeous. And I do mean some gorgeousness on there. Okay, we're just going to go with these clear. I don't think, let me see if these change colors. Oh, I think we might just be fine with these. Let's see what you guys think. Oh, I flipped it upside down. Well, maybe, maybe not. There we go. And those are actually the polished dots. Um, but I think they show up pretty good for this one too. And there, you're done. You're absolutely done. You don't need to do any more other than your branding. 
I don't even know what I have on this one. Let me stamp over here and see. Maybe I need to do some cleaning would probably be the thing to do. Um, so there's two of the colors. I know. Well, we always add a little bit of bling. Always add, and so easy. I mean, it is so, so easy to do. Um, there we go. That's better. And then, <clears throat> tone on tone again. This was not my original idea. I saw it from another demonstrator, but, you know, she apparently had it right. So why should I go changing? Okay. So there we go. And if you go ahead and do all your cutting to start with, <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> Excuse me. If you go ahead and do all your cutting to start with, you're just ready to go and get everything done. Um, so, I mean, I already did this one <clears throat> last night when the system sort of went bonkers. So I think I'll go ahead and get it put together. I mean, this is something that, you know, you really could get 10 or 15 done just in a matter of minutes um, if you were stamping them all the same color. And then all you have to do in between is, of course, just, um, whew, apparently I didn't, oh yeah. So, I rocked and got that little extra mark, so I flipped it over. Um, so I thought there for a minute I was inking up my good side, and I was not. I was not. I was not. So I'm just putting this down on that one. And this time we will go back. Oh, let's see. What kind of dots I have available to me here. <coughs> Mercy, I cough, I sneeze, I cough, and I'm not even sick. But Betty, I don't know about everybody else, but my allergies this week have been horrible. Um, headaches, just from allergies is what it is, so... Oh, and sometime tomorrow, I will do the drawing for the winner of the Roll of Dice Challenge, because then it'll just be a few days before we roll the dice again to see what the challenge is going to be for this month. So there we go. Now I have... Somewhere, there we go. Now, here's the ones that I did last night. I did these without using the dryer sheet and without rolling them. So, I was going to show you then what I have to do, and it's not hard. I'm looking for my... You know what? When you're working and you have something right in front of you, and then all of a sudden, hmm, it's got, well, yeah, it's laying out work. right where I put it. Of course it is. Um, my phone sheet and my roller. And had I used the big boss and used maybe the chrome plate or something, then, um, or if I'd used the big boss, I probably wouldn't have had any problems. But that convenient, that little boss is so convenient. Um to do, just to pull up on the desk and and have Get these out of the way, dump those off. But again, I had forgotten to do my dryer sheet and these are so intricate. Uh, and when I say intricate, I'm just talking about with all the little pieces. 
that it is really a good thing to just roll them or use a dryer sheet on it. Um, if you do a dryer sheet, you saw how I did it earlier, it's much easier. <clears throat> Excuse me. So I hear Jimmy watching Survivor, so if anybody hears Survivor in the background, that's what it is. It's just, it's, I used to like it. It's not the best anymore, I don't think, or I don't know if just the, it's just sort of gotten old. Um, so. So. Who, has anybody followed along with me tonight once we got going to do some stamping? If so, definitely post a photo when we get done. Thanks to everybody for posting photos. It's really good for the group to be able to see <clears throat> what others are making, and it just gives us ideas. <clears throat> And we get to see what lovely work everybody else is doing. So, I learn as much from you guys as anything. So, hey, Miss Marilyn. You guys are awfully quiet tonight. I know I'm on at an odd time. There's only a couple on with me. Oops. This is your longest thing or most time consuming if you did not use the dryer sheet to roll them off first. Oh, the new in colors for this for the upcoming catalog. Oh yeah. Kavi's a demonstrator, so she has access to all those colors and so forth right now and got to do a pre-order so again then what we do i'm going to pull up my silicone pad flip this over to the back side it's just a little bit more glue you don't i mean you don't need lots your sponge soaks up more than anything and again if you wanted to you could use i need to get i see one on there i need to get off you could um, use the adhesive sheets to get you some adhesive on there. If that's something you would want to do. So, you know, it's up to you. Total, totally what works for the maker. Okay. Lay that over to the side. And... Oh, he has changed it now from Survivor to Moonshiners. So, oh, it sounds like, is it Digger? Tigger? Digger? I can't remember the, the names. Mark is one of them. Thank you, Sandy. Oh, you're having a team meeting. I We are lining up a team meeting, but um, we've been doing some through Zoom. We have so many so far away. A few close. A few in the distance, as we say. Um, this is just a beautiful, beautiful card. And again, I'm going to come back with those polished dots, and I do think these are retiring. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. There we go. That's all there is to it. So I've got another set of papers here. 
And <clears throat> what I'm going to be doing is just going ahead and doing another set of the freesia because I have another uh, freesia background set here. So I'm going to pull out my... Oh, that was almost... No, there we go. Inside top. Okay, so... <clears throat> oh, boy. Allergies galore today. So, all I'm doing, inking it up again. Starting at the top. Oh, I need to turn it around. You want your wonky side in. Isn't that pretty? Isn't that pretty? And then through again. And I think I missed just a little bit up here. But this is that distinctive stamp. So it's not going to matter if you overlap. Um, because of the way it, it, it I mean, it's itself. It's just wonderful. I just, I can't help it. It's just wonderful. Now I think that is the inside, or the one, and then this. Doing the same stamp. And doing it on the bottom. Moving that one out of the way. Coming back with my thanks. There we go. And move this out of the way. Oh, one that got away from me. Oh, Sandy, you will love it. I tell you what, I just, I jumped in. Mine are definitely not perfect. Um, but I love it. You, as a North Carolina demo, just need, there's a great place to practice. Um, that helped me tremendously just to try new things. Get everything set up. Um, I, there's still lots of things that I want to do to make better. Um, and I will. But, you know, I go with what's comfortable and what I like. Um, that way, everybody else is comfortable with it, too. So, that's my biggest piece of advice. If you're comfortable... With it, go ahead and start it. And then, oops, I about bent that and I didn't mean to. Um, go ahead and get it started. And, you know, as long as you're comfortable with it, everybody else will be comfortable with it too. I think. I have had some tell me, um, give me some. Let's, let's call it constructive criticism, and that's okay, you know? That's how I learn, so I'm good. I am good with that. Well, that didn't stick for a minute. Get that set. I think I'm going to get them all ready like this. And then I will go back and put my die cut on all at one time. That way I'm using the glue all at one time and not having to close it up, shut it down, close it up, shut it down, those type things. Okay? So, I hope you have enjoyed this. 
I hope that um, you will be able to post some cards for me, okay? Um, give me some thumbs up hearts before you leave. And if you have any questions, I'll keep watching. Um, or I'll go back and watch the comments to make sure I've called everything, okay? So, have a great evening. And I will make an announcement as to whether or not the live is going to be tomorrow night. Or if I will be recording a live to post Saturday morning. I don't think I'll be doing a live Saturday morning. But it's still early. We will see. There will be something in its place. I just don't know what it is. Hey, if you're out there or watching this replay and you see anything you'd like to order, don't forget you can shop with me 24-7. www.inkygatherings.stampingup.net Current host code F777CNCZ. That's valid through 524. Okay. Um, Sandy messaged me. I don't, um, I'll be tied up tomorrow. Hey, I get to babysit my, my grandbaby tomorrow. Um, but, and tied up this weekend, but next week, you know, or just anytime, message me if you've got questions on the live and we will work through them. Okay. Have a great day. Bye-bye.